Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Ace Attorney trilogy journey with what I presume to be the uh, the final case. Then again, this, this game has thrown a few, like, or at least one, at least one, like, double case in an episode at us, so you can never be too sure. But evening indeed, we're going to continue. I have no idea where this is going. I didn't. I thought the last case was going to be the last case, but no, we've had another episode. Episode 5, Bridge to the Turnabout. I don't know much about this. Then again, I don't know much about this game except for Godot. And even then, I don't really know much about him. It's funny that I, like, feel like I know a lot about Ace Attorney. But it's all surface level. I know next to nothing <laughs> beyond the surface. Well... <laughs> I never got to, uh, far in the DS version. Ah. Because, for me, before I started to play the, uh, this version, the trilogy version on PC, previously, I had only ever played the first game on DS a long time ago, so I forgot, like, nearly everything. So it was a, it was a weird experience, like, Knowing that I had played it, but then it re-experiencing it again. But, let us begin Episode 5, Bridge to the Turnabout, and see where things go. Because it's been, it's been a bit... Okay, that statue, we haven't seen you in a while. Nice foot. Chi Chi Shito, the treasured curing village heirloom whose name means seven-branched sword. Is it gonna kill somebody? <laughs> it is said that this sacred sword represents life itself. How dare you? Though the branches may appear to be infinite, the choice is limitless. Like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end. One merciless point. And when the silver cord, the fragile thread that binds us to this world, is severed... I'm still trying to figure out where this is going. I did not expect this to be the... the where this is going. Yeah, thunder. Alright, somebody died at the village, I guess. The illusion is revealed and the implacability of fate is finally laid bare. Don't think I recognize you. All right, then. Because I presume this has to, like, continue from, or at least have something to do with Phoenix being in the hospital that, like, bookended the flashback case because Phoenix was in the hospital, there was an IV drip, or something, and he was on, like, a super thin laptop looking up, uh, Mia's first case. So, interesting. And yeah, that statue, or at least a statue like it, was in the Mask Damask case. Alright then, somebody's dead. This will be interesting. I had things to say, but then the intro came in like it always does, and threw my mind out the window. But, alrighty then. Hey, Nick. Yeah? What is it? You know how I've got spiritual powers unlike you? you we've used it a lot by now. This is the third game. How would we not know? <laughs> one thing I remember is that one line from that one guy, the, you're not a clown, you're the entire circus. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I remember that line. I think that was in the first game, I believe. Maybe. It's hard to tell sometimes with Edgeworth. Um, sure. You're a spirit medium, after all. But just like you, if I don't keep my powers sharp, they get dull, right? Um, I guess so, yeah. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up! Pearls? So, that's why we need to go on a special spiritual hotspot tour, Mr. Nick. Huh? I'm lost. What's this magazine you're shoving in my face? It's the New Year's issue of Occult Winter Spiritual Location Special. Oh, 
Pearls look so happy. Maximize your spiritual powers with just one night of intensive training. It has been so long since I did Pearl's voice. <laughs> oh, it sounds too good to be true. I'll say. It sounds more like a scam to me. It's at a spiritual retreat called Hazakura Temple. It's way up in the mountains, and I bet it's nice and cold. Just perfect for training. No, I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Reservations? For a temple? Are you serious? Don't worry, I've already made special reservations just for us. How did you do that, Pearls? Did you, did you steal Phoenix's credit card? Yeah, and I signed up for the special course. Th that's nice, and the timing couldn't be better. Since we don't have a case right now anyway, how does this keep happening? Phoenix had a, has like a good track record so far, and he's been in tons of high-profile cases. How is he not flooded in cases? It's weird. Hell, he got hired just to be a lawyer on site, I think, for a guy trying to get a confession from a spirit. How is he not this good? <laughs> Credit card fraud. <laughs> He has to hire Raiden to get rid of his credit card fraud. Alrighty then, it's settled. Well, come on, don't just stand there. Start packing your stuff. Yes, Mr. Nick, you'd better start packing your stuff. Huh? Me? Why do I have to go? Well, you we have to be accompanied by someone 20, over 20 years old. Hey, I don't have anything to do with spirit powers. The only thing I can channel is a TV. So, um... Is there a he heated pool at this Hazakura temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall. Sorry, but I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. What? No way! How can you be so selfish? Come on, Mr. Nick. Look at this place. Doesn't it look beautiful? Nope, not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the? What? What is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine. Mother f You! You! Three times? Three? What? 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 You, 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 you. Okay, you, be, you begin at the tutorial level, and then you show up near the end, and now you're back again? How? You're in jail. How are you up there? What the fuck? And, like, 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 I highly doubt that Delilah had a twin sister, right? Because that would be an important thing to note in the case, wouldn't it? Well, then again, as far as I can tell, <laughs> Mia didn't even recognize Delilah in, like, despite the fact Delilah showed up in both two of her cases in her early career. But it's just like, what, what, how, how, how are you existing? Because, because it's a new magazine. Ooh, escaping lawful custody. I don't think so. Wait a minute, actually. Uh, 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 because I don't know exactly how long ago, like, the, the Phoenix's case with Mia was, where Mia was trying to get Phoenix off the hook. But she was put down for murder, I think. And, I don't know, it's it's weird. Like, well, I guess we'll find out, but it's just like, how the hell did you get out? Because that was a long time ago, Mia's second case, in which she was protecting Phoenix. So, I guess it's not impossible that she somehow got out of jail. And ran away. But she doesn't seem like the type to run away to that place. Like, to, like, a temple. We'll, we'll see. Th this nun. Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? Th this girl. It's... My name is Dahlia. Dahlia? I thought you were... Did you change your name? So you were one name. Then you were Delilah, I believe. Unless I just had a complete dyslexia moment for the entirety of the last Ace Attorney stream. 
and maybe she changed her name to Dahlia. Right? Or it would be extreme. It would be very weird if there was both a Delilah and Dahlia Hawthorne. So I'm just going to assume she changed her name somehow. My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just want to say it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me. But it can't be. She was found guilty and should still be in prison. Mr. Nick? I'll go. Huh? How's a Kura Temple? I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Pearly? Yes! Oh, thank you! Thank you, Mr. Nick! You'd do anything for Mystic Maya, right? Even walk over burning coals, right? Oh, Cult! New Year's issue received from Pearls. An occult magazine featuring Hazakura Temple and some bitch. So yeah, we... we... Dahlia Hawthorne. I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple. But I just had to be sure. I just had to be. I just had to be see for myself. <laughs> I guess I didn't fix all the. All the, the. The grammar issues. I just had to be see for myself. Who this nun really was. A snowmobile that's covered in snow. That doesn't seem good. It, it, it's so c cold here, Nick. Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. B well, it's supposed to be c cold. It's training. <laughs> Her teeth are chattering so loudly, it's all I can do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mystic Maya, so this is the famous Hasakura Temple. P -p -p Pearly, I... I chill. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. How nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. Oh, th th thank you. That's <laughs> you. Oh my, oh my, oh my, my. Thank you for coming all this way. Come now, come now. You must have been cold. What's up this past tense? We're freezing into human popsicles. <laughs> well, we are high up in the mountains, after all. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Uh, please follow me inside. Well, that's weird. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even get to read. Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm the head nun here at the temple. My name is Bikini. What? What the, f what the fuck? What? <laughs> Bikini? All right, sure. All right, fine. Whatever. B -b -b Bikini? That's right. Actually, that's my temple name. What do you think? It's a tradition to have one, and I wanted something that has a nice image to it. So I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. All right, so at least in universe it's meant to be weird. I like watching ROM hacks, but I'm not one to download anything. That's fair enough. It's like maybe some people like enjoy watching other people like experience mods, but might not want to go through all the trouble of downloading mods. So it's perfectly fine. <laughs> It certainly does. Oh, I signed up for your special course. Well, my, 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 quite brave of you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless at their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel. <laughs> reckless? Wahaha. <laughs> Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. We can come back another day. But you went through all the trouble to get reservations for me. Yes, 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 that's right. You've come all this way, so please enjoy yourselves. There's still time before supper, so why don't you have a nook around? All right, so we're here. Interesting. And speaking of ROM hacks, after I beat Explorers of Sky in the future, no idea how long that'll take, because I actually want to savor and enjoy the post-game of Explorers. Uh, I mean, I tried the post-game for Rescue Team, but, uh, oh, it's painful. Oh, it's so painful. At least there were some good ones, like, uh, I don't want to actually say it, because 
that is post post game, it's like actually like a surprising thing. But it actually had good story post game for in some places, but in other places it's just like gold air legendary. So that's kind of half and half. But from what I recall hearing, the post game for explorers is exquisite with nice stuff. Well, let's talk to you, channeling dojo. Um, so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh my my my, you don't even know that? Forgive him, sister, for he knows not what he's saying. Well, 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 just call me Bikini and forget that sister part. A channeling dojo is basically a spiritual power training ground. We have a special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual powers. Holy items? If you train an entire evening surrounded by these items, ah, it's quite mysterious. <laughs> mysterious indeed. The spiritual power of these items seems to envelop you. <laughs> wow, she must have just gotten off the trolley from the land of make-believe. <laughs> Phoenix just here with the burns. I just have major trust issues with downloading mods. That's fair. I'm still in Destiny Tower on the damn post game. <laughs> the post game. It just rockets up in difficulty, I can only imagine, with the traps. You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in that at such a young age. It's a, it's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant a spell. 30,000 times, all while being showered in freezing cold spirit water. I believe that is murder. And speaking of freezing cold spirit water, remember to stay hydrated while you die. Eh? Uh -huh. It's February now, right? You have to be careful this time of year. If you don't watch it, you'll catch pneumonia or maybe even die of hypothermia. So be careful, you hear? <laughs> How am I supposed to be careful? Oh no, I knew I should have signed Mystic Maya up for this. Well, the other nun. Um, sister, about this picture. Who is this bitch? Well, well, look at that. I must say, I look rather divine here, don't you think? Actually, not that bad. You definitely, definitely look different. Um, yeah, unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh, I knew it. <laughs> the makeup is pretty tough, but Iris helped me out. Iris? The cute little girl in the photo. She looks just like me, doesn't she? <laughs> It'd be kind of hilarious if somehow this was Dahlia all these years later. She just let herself go. We're just a small temple here, so she and I run the entire place. Really? That kind of sound fun. Sorry to cut in, but this Iris, where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all the way up here just to find a girlfriend, have you? <laughs> Glare. No, no, no. That's not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the inner temple preparing for this evening. In her temple? Yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back this evening. Why don't you go have a look around at the mansion, main hall for now? <laughs> so she's in the inner temple, huh? Well, let's examine things. I thought we could look at the door. It looks like an interesting door. What do you think, Nick? Pretty awesome gate, huh? It sure is. It looks pretty well maintained, too. This thing kind of puts your hometown to shame, Maya. Yeah, well, a lot of things have happened in Curing Village. We used to be a lot richer back when people hired us to perform channelings. And then, then all the things happened. Oh, so many things. I can imagine Maya willing to do all this training to be a spirit medium, but the instant that you tell her that she can't eat burgers, she's like, heck no, I'm leaving. Maybe. Though I think she's a little dedicated to training. She can hold out on burgers, maybe. Oh, I see, but now the place looks a bit run down. I guess I was just born in the wrong time. <laughs> that looks like the main hall where we'll be staying tonight. From here, it looks like one of those ice hotels you always hear about. They gotta have a heater or something in there, don't you think? I don't want to die. I'm not worried. I brought my hot water bottle. Did you bring one for me? What are you talking about, Nick? Who carries around two hot water bottles? Uh, the cold doesn't kill me. The ice queen over here will finish the job. <laughs> then the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> the spirit medium avatar. That would be amusing. The elemental spirits. Oh look, it's one of those snow motorcycle things. Most people call that a snowmobile, you know? Snow motorcycle thing, snow blow meal, same thing. Hmm, too bad we didn't invite Desiree. 
I bet she could race like the wind on this slowmobile. Or maybe she'd give me a ride on this blow snowmobile. Ah, I told you it's a snowmobile! At that point, I think she was doing it intentionally. Oh, look, it's a cute little bell tower. I absolutely love the sound of a giant bell. Oh, so which do you like better? That or the sound of money? <laughs> Ouch. Sorry, but I'll take money for the win, Nick. What are you apologizing for? Yeah, what is she apologizing for? You just, like, murdered her mood. I can't believe Nick was the real murderer all along. Well, oh, we can go to the suspension bridge. Let's go to a suspension bridge instead of the main hall. Why does this place seem familiar? And why is there, like, a telephone without without a phone? Heavenly Hall, Dusky Bridge, and birds. All right. Wow, look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. Yeah, and look at that big canyon below us. Hey, there's a river down there. It looks like it's flowing real fast. What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm just not very good with heights. Oh, hey, I've got it. Maybe you should face your fear and try hurling yourself off the edge. Maya, are you trying to kill him? What? <laughs> Maya, what? <laughs> well, mental warfare is a lot more damaging than physical violence. That's true. You know, one, two, three, jump! It might be just what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real good way to overcome phobias, all right? Anyway, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can't argue there. That's probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says Dusky Bridge. Well, it's practically the same thing. Heavenly Hall. There's a narrow path going on to a, off in a different direction than the main hall. That sign there is so old, the text seems to have vanished. The path leads to a wooden staircase that goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, all right, wooden staircase on it. Do you really think that's necessary? You'd have to be blind not to see the stairs. Well, it can't hurt. Just pass me a pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime, Maya. Well, how's she supposed to know? She's but a babe. Some letters are engraved into a roughly cut boulder. D-U-S-T-Y bridge, huh? It says Dusky! Dusky bridge, okay? Come on, Nick, take a look at the bridge and tell me it's not supposed to be dusty. This sign is obviously wrong, and I'm gonna fix it. Now give me a pencil, Nick. Do I look like a pencil holder to you? Why, why, why is she obsessed with pencils in this game, in this, in this episode? I can't believe there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? The people who live here, I guess. I doubt they have any real phones here. Yeah, but it look, took like 20 minutes to walk here from the main hall. It would have been smarter of them to build the main hall here, don't you think? Maybe you should work on channeling someone who makes logical sense, Maya. Come on, Nick, why don't we hop across the bridge? It'll be fun. I'm not so sure. It looks like a bunny hopping across the bridge would destroy it. Okay, Nick, then let's try to find a cute fluffy little bunny and test your theory. That right there sums up the fundamental difference between sane and insane. It looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there. I guess that's where I'll be training tonight. Do you want to train with me, Nick? And do the special course? I think not. But it'd be so great if you had spiritual powers too. Really? I see dead people sounds more like a cause for alarm to me. Besides, it's not... Sh she doesn't see dead people. She becomes dead people. When they're alive. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. Well, on to the main hall. I don't know why, but <laughs> walls of Japanese writing seems, I don't know, creepy. And why is there, yeah, there, there's the Babataba, the Magatama, a big Magatama that is like mid-dying up there. Is this meant to be like a ripoff of the Kurain village? The, the, the main hall, I think it's even colder in here. Ah, uh, Mr. Nick, do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's pot roast for tonight. Yum! Weird, I thought they would serve something a little more, well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? 
Do you think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice gruel all the time? Mystic Maya's right. Ooh, I hope there's mashed potatoes too. I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> what a cute little acolyte. There's something off with you, and I only have immediately seen you. Why do you remind me of, I think, Pearlie's mother? But she went to jail. Sub something's weird here. She becomes dead people when they're alive. Rooster became confused and hid himself in confusion. It's not. It makes perfect sense. She channels dead people, which makes them alive again. Greetings to all of you. Oh, um, hello. Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a 6.8 out of 10 on the weirdness scale. Alright, interesting. Your outfit? Did you come here for the special course too? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm... Ah! You're... You're... You're Miss Elise... D uh, is that French? Dunum? Denim? Downum? I have no idea. Miss Elise. Yes, that's right. You know of me? M -m -m my name. My name is Pearl Fay. I I'm your biggest fan. Who is she, Nick? Hmm. I see it now. Zavari! A fortune teller? I've got all your books, Miss Dunum. Of course you use the last name that I can't pronounce. <laughs> What a sweet thing to say, and please, call me Elise. I also do find it funny that Phoenix decided to channel the... the bubba bu The evil ace detective criminal. Zavari! Um, books? Mr. Nick, don't you know anything? Don't you even know who she is? Well, um... an author, maybe? Yes, and an illustrator of picture books. Oh, <laughs> All right, got me. Picture books, huh? Oh, well, now I get it. I don't think you do. Maya, I don't think you get anything. The only thing you get is trials. Well, I guess we'll talk. Elise Denim. Um, I'm sorry I didn't know who you are. I don't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. It's all right, I take no offense to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. And really beautiful pictures, too, Miss Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart has been purified. <laughs> it makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I do have to admit, she certainly seems like a kind, sensitive lady. Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle. Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted a story I'd written to a publisher. They liked it so much that they asked if it was alright to make it into a book. Wow, it must have been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book, too. If I do, you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. <laughs> sure, Maya, whatever you say. Recently, I've accepted a sort of apprentice, you might say. An apprentice. He calls himself Loris. Loris Dunham. I believe he's off doing some landscape sketches now. You've uh, accepted an apprentice who is also related to you. On Larissa's behalf as well, I'd like to thank you for your support. Of course, Miss Elise. Anything for you. <laughs> and why come here? Um, why did you come to Hazakara Temple, Miss Elise? Are you here to do some spiritual training? <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm actually here to gather materials for a new book I'm working on. Why do I get the feeling you're going to die and your hair is going to like come unraveled and that you'll be the dead body at the front? Or who is it going to be? The likely It's either going to be you or Iris. That'd be kind of weird, though, if they're like, we're going to go to the mountains to look and see if it's Dahlia. And then she just fucking dies. <laughs> Although that would kind of add to the mystery, trying to figure out who the fuck she is. <laughs> Wow, I can't wait to read it. Girls is completely taken with her. I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel to it this time. So is that why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I don't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a sweet lady. 
Immediate red flag! She'll be the demon! Well, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. There's something wrong here. I... There's something wrong here, and I don't trust nothing. I don't trust nothing here! You look too familiar! <laughs> We're gonna solve the mystery! If... I... Honestly, it'll be kind of hilarious if Maya gets accused of the crime again. The good people here were kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes underneath my robe as well. I want a staff like that. <laughs> this is just Maya being like, I want to emulate this children's book, Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. 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 You like the crystal sphere? It's a real amethyst, you know. Maybe we'll find one like this that up here on this mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find me one. Just keeps throwing things at Nick, and Nick just like, does stops caring, and then the music stops. Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Wow, you mean you're cooking dinner tonight? That's right. Would you like to help too, Pearl? Yes, yes. I want to help with uh, whatever I can. Pearl looks like she just won the lottery. Oh, I'll help too then. No, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Is that where that meme came from? Nick's a people pleaser, I swear. I have no idea. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But... Oh, yes. Please, take this. I think it'll be of help to you. Hey! All right! Oh, God! They did mention a temple, didn't they? Wait a moment, wait. I'm losing my mind here. I'm trying to think. Because that's the bridge that... That, uh... I forgot his name, Falls. Where Terry Falls uh, got framed a bit. And... I could have sworn her name was Delilah. Delilah got thrown into the water. Ah, uh, her. Because there's a temple, Inner Temple, Hazakura Temple. And Terry said something about, yeah, we met at the temple. We made a, we made a, a promise, and they exchanged, like, poison necklaces. Could it be that... Because there's Dahlia, and then I could have sworn Delilah. Could have sworn that Terry made the promise with Delilah. Delilah Hawthorne. And, but then there was Dahlia Hawthorne. That, like, Nick got involved with in the first case of this game. So I'm just... I f something's weird's going on. Something weird's going on, I swear, man. Because again... Because there's no... Because my main... My mind immediately jumped to... Like... What if Delilah... Like, did jump into the river... But no, it wouldn't make sense. But nah. Because basically, to finish my thought, my brain was like, oh, what if Delilah did jump into the river, got knocked out, got amnesia, and was, like, raised here in Hazakura Temple? But that would make no sense. That would make no sense, because the Delilah that we found, that was in the case, the last case, the last episode of this game, like, fully admitted to it and fully knew everything. So how... But this is of... This is of... All connecting. Back to Hawthorne. All right, well, we'll continue. I just think it's very weird. But yeah, that is the bridge. That is the cliff. It's a map of the area. We wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? The inner temple. There it is on the other side of the bridge. The clown detector's going off the charts. Like, it's not my fault. Like, there's something weird going on here. There's something weird. It's all coming together in a place, and I don't know what's coming together, but something is. 
Well, if you insist... Well, if you insist, I guess, we'll take this chance to go check out the other temple. How's the current temple map? Okay, I'll see you two later then. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. Come on, Nick. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. Yeah, just weird things are happening. Weird things are happening. There's a laughably large Magatama on the altar. If I can see Cyclops with this tiny Magatama I've got, I can only imagine what kind of power this bad boy has under his hood. It's, it's paint is peeling. It's not good. It's an altar. It looks a bit old, but someone does a good job of taking care of it. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing one like this in the Curane Village last year. And I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual power after all. There are straws... There are straw Zabutan cushions arranged around a hibachi brazier. I haven't seen a layout like this since I saw this really old Japanese movie on TV. If I wasn't for this hibachi, they'd probably freeze to death. <laughs> probably. It's a stack of straw Zabutan cushions. Maya told me this is a type of Zabutan is called an Inza. I suppose if I'd never come here, I'd have missed out on all these new things. Don't you mean old things? Really? I bet the writing on the siding on these sliding doors are instructions for spirit channeling. Instructions. My brain is my my brain needs instructions. Kind of like how we scribble <laughs> math formulas on the bathroom walls to remember them. Except we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests, and I can't read these walls. Interesting. Well, I I guess we're gonna move over to the other place. Is the nun gone? Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? She left the cold, Maya. I guess she went to the inner temple to go help that other nun out. All right, I think her name is Iris? Yeah, that was it. I want to find out who Iris really is, but I'm scared of what I'll find. I feel sorry for you. Inner temple gate. Interesting. Whoa! That bridge was shaking like jello like in, in an earthquake! And at least half the wood on that rickety bridge was rotting, I bet. Not to mention the last part only had, like, one board left on it! What's wrong with you? Your face is all green. C can you not pick on me for a second? I'm still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit surprised, too. Oh boy, it's a sliding one. Yikes, that temple is in bad shape. It looks like it could collapse at any moment. I guess people don't use it too often. Is this really where you're going to train tonight? That has to be it. It's kind of creepy around here. Like a ghost might jump out at you or something. A spirit medium afraid of ghosts. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? I've got to examine everything. I examine it all. I don't care how much you pay me, I don't want to cross that bridge again. No worries, Nick. No one's offering you any money. But that's because no reasonable person would call that pile of popsicle sticks a bridge! The latter half of it was nothing more than a few planks of wood and some string. Hey, if we want to get back, we got no choice but to cross it again, you know. Maybe I'll just stay. I've always dreamed of living in a little shack in the woods. Wow, you really are scared, aren't you? You have to carry him across to Maya. Use your m magical m Maya powers to carry him across. It looks like this bridge is suspended by four of these wires. They're really thin. Shouldn't they be just a bit thicker? Oh, stop it. You're such a worrywart, Nick. If the bridge were really going to collapse, I'm pretty sure the boards would break before these wires ever did. What's wrong? You're turning to an overripe avocado again. You're scaring him, Maya. You are, you are, you're going to be the death of him. Oh, wow, look at these neat Buddha statues. Maybe I'll take one home with me. Maya! But there are so many. They wouldn't notice if I just took one. So many, there's six. I think they would notice if they had, went from six to five. Are you kidding? Of course they'll notice. What are you going to do with one of those anyway? Put it in the office, of course. We can trade that wooden statue in the office reception area for one of these. You know, come to think of it, where did that wooden statue come from anyway? That was a wooden statue? I don't remember it. Hey! There's a giant robot buried in the snow! It is a furnace? 
Well, there is something buried in the snow, but I think it's an incinerator. Yeah, that. Oh, <laughs> well, you've got to admit it. Kind of looks like a robot. Um, sure. Anyway, I don't think it gets used much. It's looking pretty rusty. Hey, Nick, do you think this giant robo incinerator can walk? I told you, it's not a robot! And it's not especially big either. Uh, you have no imagination. I thought it'd be really neat if you had to beat it to advance. A fight between a lawyer and an overgrown furnace? Who'd ever pay to see that? <laughs> Theft. Maya's real pastime. Looks like there's something written on it. I can't read it, but if I had to take a good guess, I'd say it says Inner Temple. What's the point of a sign if you can't read it? it must be tough for the mailman when he's deli delivering here. I guess there's a sign of good indication of how long this place has been here. Hey, a half-open gate! That's practically a welcome mat! Yeah, except the sign on here says no entry. Um, Nick? Rules are made to be broken, you know. You expect a lawyer to go along with that? Oh, come on, you're such an old lady sometimes. Let's just go! Don't blame it on me when Sister Bikini puts a curse on you! Now you've got me scared. Um, let's just forget about it, okay? I doubt that woman could ever cast anything. So that's the inner temple up ahead, huh? It looks kind of run down. Well, it wouldn't be very temple-like if it was all bright and shiny. So you're training here tonight, huh? Yep! Then everyone will see my spiritual powers! I'm going to assume that was your stomach. Sounds like your stomach wants to show off its digestive powers instead. I wonder if that roast is ready yet. If we go back and they instead roasted Pearl. What the fuck? Why? Um. Um. Why is this so ominous? Um? Why is there a big old cage? Why is this entire place slanted? Why is there bars behind the rock? Man, look at this place. It's just a tiny, freezing cold room. So this is where you'll both be training, huh? Huh? What do you mean, both? I'm the only one. Really? But I thought... Pearlie's just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. So says the girl who I can barely hear over her chattering teeth. Anyway, the real training room must be behind that door over there. Huh. Yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. Even I can sense that there's something supernatural about the cavern behind that door. Um. You! Although your hair is, like, not what I expected, but I don't know. Excuse me, but who are you? Ah! Y your Hi there! We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Is something wrong? Uh, er, no, it's nothing. So she recognizes me, I think. That's a bad sign. I wonder why she's so spaced out like that. Don't you, Nick? I just completely but butchered that reading. Blech. Maya probably spent so much time reserving the spiritual world, uh, researching the spiritual world, that she doesn't know about common sense. Maybe. Uh, d did you say something, Maya? Not you too, Nick. I, my, my name's Iris. I'm the one of the nuns at this temple. I'm Maya Faye. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, uh, please excuse me. I have some, um, chores to attend to. At this point, you should just tell Maya, Nick. Just tell her. <laughs> Something weird's going on, Nick. Let, let Maya know. She sure is beautiful and a spit spacey, I guess. Because one thing that I kind of notice is that her hair is, is like, more brown than red. And, like, <laughs> Dahlia, Delilah, whatever... The, the murderous Hawthorne that we went up against in Asmia had red hair. It's entirely possible that she's uh, dyed her hair, but at the same time, why would she dye her hair but still have the same haircut? Like, the same hairstyle. <laughs> but I guess that would explain why it's in black and white. It's to kind of throw us off, maybe. 
And uh, I guess she's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. Nick? That girl. It, it can't be, but... Just tell her, Nick. Let her in on your thought process. Look at this antique dresser. I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. Maya is basically a thief in Skyrim, taking every wants to take everything that's not bolted down. Hey, Nick. And I, I skipped the dialogue because I'm a fool. I pressed the space bar like an idiot. Uh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Oh, about Iris, I bet. Looks like you've been bitten by the love bug, Nick. Oh, in a way, but not really. More like the horror. Then again, maybe. Maybe he's just like being... And I, I think she was talking, and I went and... Me, trying to think thoughts. Click thing. Dialogue automatically advances. Ah! Ah! What is it? Why'd you scream like that? Th th this scroll. It... It's my mother. Well, we're just on a roller coaster tonight! Ah! And hello to Twitch chat. I'm having a mental breakdown. Eh. All right. Okay. All right. Your mother has a scroll. Well, there's a scroll of your mother here. My brain just... <laughs> My brain just went, what if Nun Bikini is her mother? And she just let herself go. That's not gonna be it. That's just like a joke idea that came to my head. Zero to a hundred real quick. This entire thing feels zero to a hundred. Wh what? And it was like hand inked. It's Misty Fay, the master of the Curane School of Channeling. Uh, are you sure? Yes. That crest at the top of the scroll. That's a special mark of the master of our tradition. A magatama surrounded by dots and swirls? Well, I guess dots and dots that are swirled. So that's what the mark means. What is it? N nothing. It's just that I last saw her over 15 years ago. If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't have even known it was her. My own mother. And I can't even recognize her face. Jesus. All right, game. Punch me in the gut, why don't you? Maya. Hanging scroll added to the court record. Well, that's important. We can read it again. It's a hanging wall scroll showing Maya's mother, Misty Fay. It's not that old. The crest at the top is official marking of the master. I wonder if this temple has some sort of connection to the Fay family. I think it does, actually. Supposedly, it was founded by a branch family member of the Curing School. I'll have to ask Bikini in more detail when I get the chance. About Maya and the Fey family in general. Weird things are going on, and I'm, be I'm beginning to worry for Pearly all the more. The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. Fooey! It's locked! Come on, Nick. You know you want to open up. Open it for me. I can't. You, you've been in kind of a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Zavari! I know what it is! I-R-I-S! Oh no, the IRS. They've come for us. Well, as you just have world-shattering revelations and ponderings, remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> Iris and Nick sitting in a tree. Kai, uh, Kai, Kai? I, I, my brain is dying. I, my, I'm supposed to be spelling, but then I pronounce the word. Bleh. If only I knew Japanese, then I could be like, what are those up there? What are the, what are the symbols? What do they mean? They say all those who wish to die enter. Ah, it's the suicide box. Welp. I guess let's move it little right along. Are we going to get a freak out from <laughs> Phoenix every single time we go across the bridge? <sighs> we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling all right? Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris at the train temple... Oh, train temple. Trainee hall, you've been really quiet. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. Hey, you, wait up. 
Oh, is it gonna be Lawrence? Lawrence? Uh, Miss the, 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 the Apprentice Dunham. You think he's yelling at us? He must be. There's no one else around. Would you mind moving? You're standing right in my way. Bet, 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 what, 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 what are you doing here? Why are you called Dunham? What? 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 Okay, sure. Larry is here. Ah. Hey, I know you, you're... Whoa, sorry, gotta run. See ya. What the fuck? This just makes me think that Bikini has to be somebody we've met already. Same thing with Elise. Something weird's going on, man. Why do you run away? I'm being very confused. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Lori Studen. Liar, you're Larry. Your clothes may change, but you're still the butts. Shut up! I, I'm... I completely forgot what voice I gave Larry. I'm, I'm Lori's! And I'm just here to do a sketch of Dusty Bridge. So it really is our Larry. Not that I get why he's pretending to be someone else. Larry, what the fuck are you doing here? Why? Why'd you change your name? Why are you Dunham? So what are you doing with the last name Dunham? Well, I... I just... I wanted to start over again with a clean slate. A clean slate? You remember, don't you? Last time? The mask to mask case. After that, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Book of Destiny! The Book of Destiny? Do you mean... The Magic Bottle by Merlise Dunham! It's so beautiful, so moving, so gentle. My heart felt cleansed! I was saved! Maybe I should buy a copy of The Magic Bottle. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman. I really want to get that book now, too. I'm begin- Again, I think that Maya can read some of Phoenix's thoughts. Sometimes. She's the most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see, you see? Here's a photo I took in her of her in secret. Larry! What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> took of her in secret? It doesn't look like you, it was taken in secret. All right, change of... Now my brain is saying that maybe Elise is like uh, b -b 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 Maya, Maya's mother, maybe? No idea. I don't know. This place is giving me brains. Wow, that's a beautiful photo. You want a copy, don't you? It's okay, I just happen to have made extra prints. Photos of Elise added to the court record. This is just so weird, I don't even know what's going on. Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So, tell the truth. You must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? What are you talking about? I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore! Especially not women! You changed your name to that of Elise... Elise Dunham. You changed your name, or at least you took up the name. You might not have done it legally. Is... Dahlia and or Delilah comes up here, goes by Iris. Larry comes up here, goes by Loris. Dunham. Everybody who is here is not who they say they are, I... I swear. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only about technical skill, you know. It's also about a, having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking, can you draw well enough to make a whole book? Huh. <sighs> now you mention it, I wonder. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. But when I first saw her, I felt it. 
Something inside me ended, and something else began. Oh, Larry, it sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Elise Dunham. No! You're wrong! It's not her. It's the other girl. Other girl? Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Larry, what is your issue with just meeting all the wrong women? Reading thoughts might be the worst power ever, because you get all those thoughts. Yeah, if you can't toggle it, it would be terrible. If it's on 24-7, it'd probably be crippling. Hey, I know I may not look like it, but I am an artist. I refuse to look at anything that doesn't have a radiant or beautiful motif. Picky picky, aren't you? So technically, he said that, uh, Iris isn't beautiful. <laughs> nope. Doesn't want to look at that either. Maybe this? Ha! <laughs> That's hilarious. He said it to everything. Well, I... I guess that's it. I think we... That's it for you. There's nothing else, I don't think. But yeah, I'm going... I'm going to think that everybody who is here isn't who they say they are. Just... I don't trust nobody. No, don't know. No. No. Or maybe I didn't... Did I not? Did I not do good? I guess we did not good, no good. Guess it makes sense. Maybe my attorney badge? Nope. Megatama? Hmm, that's it. Huh. Alright, maybe we need to go back to the inner temple. Honestly, I would not have minded if we just got, like, a thing of Phoenix freaking out every single time. Alright, because we must have missed something. I doubt this is it, but might as well get it, knock it off. There are a bunch of musty-looking blankets and bedding sets piled up here. I wonder why they're even here in the first place. It's because all spiritual training is done under the supervision of a nun. I wonder if Sister Bikini is planning to sleep in here while I train. But if they sleep, what's the point of having them here in the first place? Uh, if you scream. If you scream and you begin dying. If you channel Balthazar, and he wants his money... <laughs> Give me your fucking money! Now I wonder what, like, a 3D investigation, like, Phoenix Wright game would be like, <laughs> calling the hidden <laughs> basement card. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, because I just want to arrange my thoughts. She has to be somebody else. She has to be somebody else. We might not have met her before, but she is... She, we don't even know your real name. You're somebody. You have to be somebody else. You're not just Elise Dunham. You are somebody else, too. And obviously, everybody here. I don't trust nobody. Nobody here is trustworthy. Everybody here is somebody else. Yeah, like, my brain initially thought that maybe Elise Dunham is... I don't know. Uh... Pearl's mother, somehow. Maybe. Maybe Pearl's mother died in prison and is possessing somebody. It could also be Misty Fay. That's a possibility. But, which I guess maybe could possibly explain why she said no. Uh, Maya, you don't get to come with us. Iris, I still don't know what your deal is. More than likely, you are like Dahlia slash Delilah, somehow dyed your hair, maybe. Then again, that could be the twist. That surprise, she's not here for a third time. It's somebody else. But how would she know Phoenix and react that way? I don't know why Larry is here. <laughs> oh, I got it. I need to... Per I need to present the diddly D profiles. I'm a dumb. She seems really motherly, doesn't she? What do you mean, seems motherly? She is my mother. Larry, shut the fuck up. She's your what? I'm gonna have to take a pass on answering that one. Wait a second. Why is it getting off so easy this time? What the fuck? Elise is really something. She's like a mother to me. Yeah, you can tell from the kindness reflected in her eyes. When I first looked into her eyes, I just couldn't help it. I started blabbing about all the bad things I'd done in my life. She just laughed that gentle laugh of hers and listened. Are you sure she wasn't just laughing at you? 
Ooh, yeah, her, my little Iris. She's really pretty. This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. My dude, you exactly just said that you weren't gonna trust women anymore. You are probably trusting the least trustworthy one. I wonder if she would model for me. I wanna draw a portrait of her. Yeah, you always liked those model types, didn't you, Larry? Hey, wait a sec. Didn't you say you were swearing off women? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have basically, but... But? But... Iris is different. I feel like... I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream. This guy will never change. Everyone! Okay, good. You're not dead. Hey, Pearly! You walked 20 minutes to get here. Dinner preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. All right, I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm gonna go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also wanna have a look around where Mystic Maya is gonna be training. God, imagine if they had the balls to kill Pearly. They would never do it. But if they, how utterly devastating would that be if they, if somebody was just like, I'm going to kill the child. I can fix her. Kind of coping. It's not even that. It's just like, I'm going to fall for the wiles of yet another demon. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's all right to eat that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. Uh, I'm still worried about you. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's not dilly-dally, shilly-shally. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. All right, here I go. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. Iris, please ring the bell at 10 o'clock for lights out, all right? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then, after you ring the bell, I want you to come join us at the training hall. I'm beginning to think that you are going to die at the training hall, and Maya's going to be blamed again. I understand, Sister Bikini. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... If you'd like, you can come to my room. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Or I guess in this case... Celebrity danger. Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to. I am... I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well, then, would you like to practice reading with me? Uh, I'd love to. Pearls is absolutely smitten with Miss Dunham. So, Larry, what are you going to do? Huh? Me? Um, well, I'm just going to hang out in my room. I can't stand the cold at all. I totally hear you there. Uh, Miss Elise, so, uh, for example, how do you read this? It says gravely. That's kind of a tough word. <laughs> Ominous! Ominous! Okay, and uh, what about this word? That's another tough one. It says roast. What kind of book is she reading anyway? Gravely and roast. Well, I'm going to go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll go visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. And this is where the damnation occurs, I suppose, maybe. Uh, it's a whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Uh, why couldn't the nearest bathroom be just a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright? Yeah! Oh, uh, Miss Dunham, are you going to use the bathroom too? Um, no, but have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. I thought she said she was going to your room. I know, but she never showed up. And you waited till now? She's a child! I I'm going to go look for her. Excuse me. Ominous! Miss Elise Dunham, a woman as mysterious as origin as her last name. But the really mysterious one is... Oh... Ah, Sister Iris. Good, good evening. The really mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? I can't let this chance pass me by. 
I should try to talk to her, talk with her, and maybe get some answers. Her hair is different, but it, color different, but same hairstyle. <laughs> Foreshadowing. That's all this is. It is just a whole bunch of foreshadowing and. The... <laughs> um, your sister Iris, right? Yes. So, so, um, when did you come to Hazakura Temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. Am I gonna be right and somehow you are going to be like the actual Dahlia who had her brain bashed in on the river and that's why? But then how would. Ba 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 ba. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking. Because the only thing that wouldn't match up with that, with D Delilah not being Dahlia, because. But that's again, thing. Because obviously, the Hawthorne detective lady that died and whose murder trial we were going through, like, she believed that. Delilah was alive, and that, that, uh, whoever her name was before we've cracked the code, it's just weird. We never did learn where the two million dollar diamond went. It's just like, it's so weird. Blah, blah, blah. So you've never left. Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Ah, I see. But you didn't go to college? And maybe enroll in the Ivy University Literature Department? No, I never had an interest in going to a big university like that. Because it's just... The one thing that makes me think that there's something up with you is the fact that you did react to Phoenix back in the training room. Or maybe you... Or maybe you were reacting to Maya, come to think of it. And that could be, uh, like, just a, a bit of a red herring. My training is all the education I need. I... I see. But once in a while, when I get the chance, I make a trip to the nearby town. I can use a computer and a cell phone, too. That's not exactly something worth bragging about. But I don't see any psych locks. So I guess that means she's not lying. Huh. I don't know. But please don't stare at me like that. What kind of place is this, anyway? I heard it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Well, I have to admit it is a whole different world up here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Huh? Talking with dead people. Who, who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? So then why stay in a place like this? Uh... Is something wrong? I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. I guess it is almost ten, ten o'clock now, huh? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? If it's alright with you, I would like you to have this. Weird. Are you trying to frame me? But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Come to think of it, Sister Bikini was wearing one of these too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. All right, then. I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Something weird's going on, man! I don't know! Wait a minute, Sister Iris. Yes? Just now, you called me by my name. You said Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself to you. Th that's... Sister Iris, please tell me the truth. You and I... Have we ever met before? So we did meet before, but who are you? You can't be! But who the fuck? Iris! Oh, it's almost ten, so obviously you're not gonna die, because we have to unlock those five locks, but sure. Perhaps we can speak again tomorrow. Something real weird's going on, man! Okay. Okay, she wasn't lying about living in the temple 
since she was a child and being raised there, wasn't lying about never going to the university, or maybe she could have worded it in a specific way to get around lying, but then she would have had to have known about the Cyclops. And the only thing that she lied of, or like, was ha not answering was, have we ever met before? Which is weird. Very, very strange and odd. But alrighty then. It's just like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! So my hunch was correct. She does know me. I'll have to try and talk with her again tomorrow. And I guess I'll have the shortening of the ellipse. Ah! Alright, who's dead? Is it... Like, no way that it's Sister Bikini. Is it Elise? I highly doubt that it's Iris. What the? The blood-curdling scheme. The blood-curdling scheme will curdle all the blood. That blood-curdling scream came from the courtyard. Oh, it is Elise. Or, or Iris. Yeah, it is Elise. Miss Elise. Because that's her, her diddly D, her staff. February 7th. That scream. I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! Someone's here. On the ground. Miss Dunham! Squish? I just stepped on something soft. Hey, don't step on my tummy like that. What are you doing lying here in the snow? I was passed out. What do you think? Is that blood currently scream was you? Forget about it. Hurry and call the police. Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but we still get the reception up here in the mountains. You must have a cell phone on you, right? I, um, I didn't bring it with me. Oh, you're useless! I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. You have to use the public phone by Dusky Bridge. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Run as fast as you can! Yes, ma'am. If you don't hurry, Iris will... Iris will... Iris will what? What do you mean?! <sighs> it's farther than I thought. The bridge is just up ahead. I have to go tell Maya what happened, too. Ah! What the fuck? What? Dusky Bridge. It's burning down. What the heck happened? What are you doing here? Larry, what the fuck are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ah! Huh? What is it? Is it me? Don't scare me like that, Larry. I almost had a heart attack. My name isn't Larry. It's Larise. Larry, hurry up and call the police. I'm going to go to the inner temple. Don't be stupid. The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now. Listen to me. There's been a murder here at Hazakura Temple. But what? The murderer might have fled across the bridge. I have to make sure Maya is safe. But, but please call the police. I've got to go. Get out of my way, Larry. It's too dangerous! Nick, wait! I must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but I still went for it. You... Ah! Nick! That's a... What's even? Weakened even more by the fire, the rickety old bridge's plank snapped and gave way. So that was why he was in the fucking hospital, what's the... And as I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me... A final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. What? 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 Is this prologue to an episode? What? That was the... Uh, what? We learned nothing! Like, what, are we gonna play as Edgeworth being like, In honor of Phoenix dying, I shall take up this case. What the is it? <laughs> that was an hour of just me breaking down. Who could that be at this time of night? Yes, Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! Huh? Larry... Do you know what time it is? It's not Larry! It's Larice! Larice Dunham! 
This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Wait, don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick! He, he, he took a really nasty spill! Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking! His life is in danger! What? What happened? Tell me! Talk about a guy with a bad luck. He may already be dead! Anyway, you've got to come back! You're the only one that can help! My Iris! My beautiful Iris! She needs help! Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I I'm at the detention center. Please! Hurry! It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like I won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected anything to change. Are we actually gonna play as... Edgeworth? Aha! Uh -huh. Don't bet everything. Okay, uh, uh... You're late, Edgy! What took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one. Anyway, j just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is Maya, and Iris is bikini. Uh-huh. Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right a visit. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Dannon. She was found by right and the head nun. The suspect of is the temple's younger nun. Which is something interesting. Why was Miss Bikini, Sister Bikini, saying that Phoenix had to hurry and call for help? Because if he didn't hurry, something would happen with Iris. Nick really felt like Iris from that Delta Room Dark World intro. Or Chris. Uh, my brain was locked on Iris. I need to play Delta Rune at some point. I've streamed Undertale, loved it, and I need to play chapters 1 and 2 of Delta Rune at some point. I keep seeing art of it, and I know next to nothing of what goes on in there. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. Because it's just weird. Okay, series of events. Miss Bikini, Sister Bikini, was meant to be at the training room with Maya. Somehow, she came back to the main building and apparently fainted at the sight of Miss Iris having been killed, presumably brutally sta like slid along the edge of the Curane Sword. And I think, like, the Amethyst Orb was stolen, too. But the real question is, why did Sister Bikini leave Maya in the training room? It's just very weird. Because Elise was looking for Pearl. Where's Pearl, too? We never really found that. Why was the bridge on fire? Why was Larry out there? Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Yes, that's right. You got it. But they arrested her. My sweet little Iris. And here I was convinced he was the one the police had arrested. It would have been very funny. A kind of bookends for the trilogy. It begins with Larry Butts being saved by <laughs> Phoenix. It ends with Larry Butts being saved by Edgeworth. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? The things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. This is the first. He said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? I'm begging you! Iris's trial starts tomorrow! With Nick out of the picture, you've all, you're all I got left! You're the only one that can represent her! What did you just say? You know, represent, defend. What are you expecting? Uh, why do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like I'm a kid. I graduated from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? Please, Edgy. 
At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. The real question is, why would Phoenix want her to be represented? Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can be of any help, but I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Oh, Arceus, I really need to stop leaving my battery at 1%. <laughs> oh, I'm very paranoid about my battery power on all my devices. The moment it hits like 20%, I'm like, you are going to the charge. Even once it gets like 50%, I'm like, charge. Um, huh? M Mr. Wright, he, how is he? Mr. Lori, uh, Lori said that he, that he might have even died. So you know Phoenix, and you care about him. But you didn't want to tell him where you met. Like, are you act? There's no way that you're actually Del, his Phoenix's ex-girlfriend, who tried to have him uh, pegged for murder. There's no way that you're her. She's too bloodthirsty. Like, I don't know, maybe she... And also the whole talking to spirits thing. Apparently you hate that. I don't know. Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron! How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but he is otherwise unharmed. Oh, thank goodness. Muddy's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. I must be imagining things. This woman. I feel like I've met her before. Yeah, because you represent... Well, <laughs> everybody. Now we just need Maya to come in, channel Mia, and for her to go, you! <laughs> Although, having Edgeworth and Maya team up would be badass. Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura oh, Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at that temple then? I... I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. That's why I'm there, and why I continue to train to purify my soul. I want to ask you about last night. The night of the crime. Alright. I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room at about 8. Later I left my room to ring the lights out... Uh, lights out bell at 10. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? Uh, and then... I was told to go to the training hall, but... I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked? I was frightened. Frightened of what? Frightened. So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to his story. I just know there is... Maybe I should dig a little deeper. You're asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? <laughs> and now <laughs> Edgeworth is going to be like, What the fuck? But what in the world? Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. It looks like she's not aware of them herself. These must be what Wright was talking about. The Cyclocks. Psycholocks? <laughs> they changed the name? Before, because... Uh, I was going to actually comment on this because I said it, but Psycholocks? Interesting. Because originally I just kept calling them Cyclocks, but apparently I heard they're meant to be called Psyche Locks, and now we have them being called Psycholocks. <laughs> I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. 
So, do you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? I think it was the result of a tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes, spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. Like, that's not the name, I swear, <laughs> for the Cyclops. Cyclox, Psyche Lox, Psycholox. But. Ah. Uh, ba ba ba. Hmm. Ha. Ha. So I wonder where Maya is in all of this. But I, I had a thought, but I got distracted. My thought, I need to refine it. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Hmm. Tremendous spiritual power was awakened. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, Edgeworth, the court has literally seen. Like, that was a whole thing back in the second game. <laughs> back in the second time that M Mia, or Maya was being accused of murder, where they were like, it, it, it is court precedent that the curing channeling technique literally makes you look like the person you're channeling. It is court record, Edgeworth. And I'm and I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please answer me the simple question: Were you the one who killed Elise Dunham? No, I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. I would love it if the psycho lock thing is just Edgeworth mis mispronouncing them. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited Wright at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. But me? Yes. At the trial tomorrow, he asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know Wright? Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little... Strange. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? He is a very dear and indispensable friend. It was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I... Deceived him. So you... You are? You are... She? You are Hawthorne. You deceived him. I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. It can't... Alright, something weird is going on because you can't be the same Delilah Delia. You have to be someone different. <laughs> like, did someone steal your identity? Like... Did you do... S but it can't be, it can't be, it can't be... Delia Delilah was there in the courthouse trying to pawn off her poison necklace so that she she wouldn't get convicted. And that was the same poison, or at least the what the matching set poison necklace. And, and, and everything is... Something is wrong. You can't be her. But you have to be her. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. Until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. Break out of detainment! Run across all of Japanifornia to him. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. I do like that we're playing as Edgeworth. And that's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. And that's basically the game telling me, hey, 
uh, screw off. <laughs> you can't break the Cyclops. This is a very interesting thing already. You need my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. So we're not going to the Inner Temple. Where is Maya? It sure is cold, all right. So this is it. Dusky Bridge. <laughs> oh, wow! I'm going to assume that this is Gumshoe. I need to do the voice. Wow! It's you, Mr. Edgeworth! I was right. Um, Detective Gumshoe. Long time no see! It's been about a year? Or has it been even longer? It doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch! And there's the shoplift jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess. You were transferred by HR to the local precinct. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. Gum shoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of. I'm supposed to report the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am! Detective Dick Gumshoe reporting for duty! Great. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought the Prosecutor Godot was gonna get here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Godot? I just got back into the country, so I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, well, simple is uh, simple does, as they say. <laughs> oh, you've got no idea how much I miss that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness. I do like, I can't wait. I, I hope, I hope that we get, in this case, Edgeworth just freaking out over the prosecution dur uh, doing dirty, like, tricks against him. So he's just like, oh, good lord, this is what I put Phoenix through. I am a monster. Yeah, the bikini lady. Bikini lady? Here? Yeah, on this freezing cold mountain? Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. So, this is the bridge that... Right fell through. Yep, I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross is how it goes, right? Or was that leap? And is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. Well, we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. So is Maya still locked up over there? <laughs> Where is she? Where's Pearls? What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the end of the temple doing some training, and now they're stuck there. Yes, I heard that from right. It's Maya Fay. Oh no, Her again? Anyway, the air's really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's gonna be able to reach the end of the temple until tomorrow, sir. Will she be alright in this cold? So how did this bridge burn down, anyway? We're almost a hundred percent sure that it was lightning. Lightning. So who is this Prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of a man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. He has only gone up against Phoenix and hasn't won a single case. If he's so good, how is it that I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is! After all, you know who is right in the middle of it! You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course! For some reason, Godot has really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh. Yeah, he seems to have some kind of grudge. And what would be that cause of this grudge? Oh uh, no! Maybe he made fun of his mask or something! None of this is making any sense. I'd better look into this Godot myself. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? Yep, last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that, but according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Weather data added to the court record. Edgeworth sounds like he would apologize in a Shakespearean manner to write. He probably would. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. 
Oh, that? We got that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? I'm sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. Oh, hey, we even have the extra things. Oh, we get to check it. Okay, Eagle Mountain weather data for February 7th. Snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow, 7 to approximate... Snow, 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m. Lightning, 10 to approximately 11. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45, around 30 minutes passed between the fire starting and going out. Interesting. Had <laughs> Well, that's a lot of information that's probably going to be important. So this is the bridge Wright tried to cross. Pretty reckless, if you ask me. I'm amazed he survived the fall from up here. Yeah, he's one lucky guy, sir. Now I see how he can manage to win his case as a corp. Blind luck. I think dumb luck suits Wright just a bit better. It looks like a pretty good distance to that far cliff. Yeah, it's got to be around a hundred yards or so. Detective, that's not even close to a hundred yards. Well, I gotta admit I'm not very good at judging distances. It's about twenty yards or so, and impossible to cross without a bridge, it seems. Everything's just off. Somebody use that phone. Somebody use that phone. Snow's been disturbed. I see it now. Somebody use that phone. Some letters are wildly engraved into a roughly cut boulder. Dusky Bridge. It certainly has an appropriate name. <laughs> you need to get some glasses, Mr. Edgeworth. That sign says Dusty Bridge. I can see how you read it wrong, though, sir. You're the one who needs glasses, Detective. Try reading it one more time. Ah, you're right. It's Dusky Bridge after all. I guess whoever wrote this made a mistake. Now I want a game that's just Maya and Gumshoe. <laughs> trying to solve a case. Hey, it's a public phone. You don't see a lot of these anymore. That's true. Since we've got one here, why don't we take a photo of this a minute, though? Well, um, sure, why not? Ah, darn it, I don't have a camera with me. I'm gonna go buy a disposable camera. I'll be right back, sir. What's so special about public phones, and why is he so fascinated by them? Well, off to the main gate. This this entire thing is just... And somebody used that snowmobile. Somebody used that snowmobile. Yo, Edgy! What took you so long? I'm so cold, my brains turned to sherbet! I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. What do you mean? Right is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder! Hey, wait a sec! Hold it! Objection! What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? You call yourself a defense attorney? Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor! And that's why he's a prosecutor Edgeworth! Prosecutor Edgeworth defense attorney just sounds plain old weird, pal! Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. Hmm, dude, Edgy. I don't see you for a couple of years and your heart turns to sherbet. I'd say more like Sol Bay. It is rather cold up here. Iris didn't murder her. Someone else did. I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to right, that is. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has made me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent... Come on, a girl like you can't possibly be a murderer. I was right after all. I should never have come back. No, no, don't worry. I see things for how they really are this time. Honest. If I had a penny for every time he said that, I'd have no pennies. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much, you know what I mean? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh, ah, uh, forget it. I didn't say anything. Why is everyone acting so weird on this mountain? 
Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? Larry? What? Don't tell me! You think I might have done it? What? what? Get lost! Get on back, Charter Jet! Get out of my sight, you creep! And I hope your plane crashes and you die! I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Motherfucker! As I suspected, psycho locks. I'm sorry, man. You know me. I just don't remember. I was wondering why the fuck he was at the bridge. <laughs> My short-term memory's a wreck, dude. I don't think I have anything that can... Well, we'll, we'll come back around to... Dissecting Larry's brain eventually. Or I guess in this case, Larry's butt. I suppose this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say, this just gave me a great idea! Something tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. I've got an idea for a brand new invention! It might even make me rich! An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. I'll call it the snow car! So, what do you think, sir? Would you go for a ride on something like that? Only after you take the first 1,000 test rides. That must be the main hall back there. A brilliant deduction, sir! Are you trying to flatter me, Detective Gumshoe? Um, a brilliant use of suspense to build the tension, sir. According to Wright, the head nun has some important information. I can't miss the opportunity to speak with her. This gate looks quite old, strong enough to resist the weight of time. That's the Mr. Edgeworth I know! You got a real flair for words, sir! I've always appreciated this kind of old, timeless elegance. That's exactly how I feel, too! Take this coat, for example. Like a fine wine, it gets better with age. Even fine wine turns to vinegar and begins to stink at some point. I suggest you wash that atrocious rag you call a coat, detective. He's so mean! He didn't even give it a glance. Just look, uh, give him various things to look at. And it's also weird, why did she give... the hood? To Phoenix. Oh, uh, but someone pinning this murder on my new sweet, uh, on my sweet little Iris. Edgy, please, I'm counting on you. Well, frankly, I was hoping you could give me a little more than that. Um, uh, well then, I got it. I'll draw you a portrait. How about that? Since you're kind enough to offer, all right. <laughs> I wish we could have seen it. Hey, I know I mean. Oh, we are here. Let's see. He was a good guy. A real pal to the end. When I look back now, I have nothing but good memories. What's with the past tense? He's not dead, you know. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, the guy owes me. After all, I saved his life. What is that supposed to mean? If I hadn't called for help so quickly, he would have died. It's no surprise, though. I used to be a security guard. It was all instinct, baby. He has a point. He called me pretty quickly, too. I think Larry's pretty good at motivating people. I just wish he would try motivating himself once in a while. I still can't believe it. She was such a great person. And yep, someone's putting the murder on her. Blah, blah, blah. I have a feeling that she's hiding something. Could be. After all, she's shy and gets embarrassed pretty easily. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Why not? Look, I know all about this kind of thing. Come on, Edgy. You were a guy once. What the fuck? Lots of girls are like Iris. You know I'm right. Well, you must certainly seem to have convinced yourself. Man, I love shy girls like her. It's just so cute. You know what I mean? Still doesn't listen to others, I see. I guess some people just never change. Ooh, I see a note under there. Uh. Hey, hello there. Um, so how are you feeling? All right, I suppose. Huh? Well, who is this? I, my name is Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> By my my, a handsome boy mm, such as yourself is always welcome. Uh, if circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you have found her. Now, what can I do for you? I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. <laughs> if you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, this is the head nun, Sister Bikini. 
is the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. Uh, my stomach's already growling in protest. So, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? All right, interesting, intense stare. Well, first, I want to hear what you know. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night, we had an acu acolyte here for training. So after dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about 9 o'clock when we left here. A training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojos had none. Must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Then why the fuck did you not want to be Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11 o'clock, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Hmm, the way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get the goosebumps. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. <laughs> you get the chills pretty easily, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Alright, she just told me nothing. Alright then, I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. Uh, it must have been her past eleven. Oh no, I can't say it, it's, it's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. Let's go of my tie. What the fuck? I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The other was stabbing her from the back. But the sword was in the hand of the statue. If How would you even get that thing the entire way through if it's splitting branches? The other one was stabbing her from the back with a sword. Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was! Don't put yourself in her shoes! It'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of the courtroom! And I happen to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked too. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed, and then I passed out. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural? The girl... No. No, it can't be. Or could it? Is it possible that... Delia Delilah actually died in prison and when Iris somehow having met Phoenix five years ago and betrayed him deceived him somehow uh, but at the same time it could basically thoughts Iris and Delilah are two different people Delilah is the one who uh, killed her sister tricked Terry into poisoning himself and was trying to get Phoenix locked up for the murder of the guy back at the university. This Iris is somebody else somehow, but they look exactly the fucking same. And my thought process is, when Iris took off her hood and gave it to Phoenix, she said that it's to protect against evil spirits, but she felt frightened by the power of the awakened spiritual power. So she went back to her room rather than uh, uh, go to the training temple like she was ordered to. Which is a bit weird. Like, I guess Bikini told her to come to the temple after... So that's what it could have been. Iris was told by Bikini to come by the inner temple at some point after ringing the bell. So it's possible she went to ring the bell, felt the power of the super spiritualness, went back to her room and meditated, and the evil spirit of Delilah possessed her and killed Iris for some reason. I don't know why, it doesn't make sense, but that's the only way, although it'd be kind of, hmm, although it'd be kind of funny because in the second game, there was the case where it was wonder, we were wondering if Maya killed a guy while under the influence of a spirit. So, what if it's true this time? 
what if an evil spirit possessed Iris and it was Delilah and again, but it makes no sense for them to kill Iris or uh, uh, Elise. All these names are so fucking similar. But yeah, it makes no sense, but that's what my mind is jumping to preliminarily. Either that or Delilah did escape and pretended to be Iris while killing Ira, uh, Elise. I don't know. Everything is wompy wongly wongy. The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter, so bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take an ice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. Well, there kiboshes my initial theory that Bikini came back to the temple looking for Iris. So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she rung the bell for lights out. All right. So she came back to the main temple to ease her back and on the way told Iris to do it. Gotcha. Yes, but she never went to the inner in temple, did she? she? So did this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I'd better try to get some more details. So who is this acolyte that was to train at the inner temple? Her name is Maya Fey. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. And after she went through all the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over there in the inner temple, do you? No, 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 of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little, one little bit. Last night we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh, I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know what that small girl... I believe she is Mystic Maya's little sister. Yeah, where is Pearl? Maya has a little sister. Oh, you mean little Pearl? That's Maya, Maya Faye's cousin. Little Pearl? I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we'd finished with dinner cleanup. <laughs> no, no, no. Could it be that the evil spirit actually possessed Pearl for the murder? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. But I haven't seen her at all since la last night. She's nowhere to be found. You mean she. she was the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back! A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. As they say, the plot thickens. Okay, alright. Okay, all right, sure. Uh, there are more ends of cushions in the corner of the room. What's that white piece of paper sticking out from under the stack? Hmm, beats me. Would you mind checking that for me, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, yes, sir. I like that he just works for... <laughs> for the... Works for <laughs> Edgeworth now. Here you are, Mr. Edgeworth. It looks like an old manila envelope. <laughs> What is it, Detective? This... This could be it! An ultra-important clue! A super-special clue! I suppose I should read it myself, then. It looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall, unless you want your secret to be exposed. Th this sounds like a blackmail letter. Note added. Nice going there, Mr. Edgeworth! Why can't I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra-important prosecutor! A super-duper prosecutor! Well, I suppose it takes a super-duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. Harsh. It's an altar with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There are lots of candles lined up on it, too. You know, I haven't had a birthday party for myself in a while. Maybe you should blow up those candles over there to make up for that. Mr. Edgeworth, would you mind singing happy birthday to me? Stop that! Cut that out! Please don't blow out the altar candles! 
<laughs> I don't remember this game being this wild. Ace Attorney goes nuts, man. I'm surprised these games age rating didn't go higher. Somehow, there's lots of dark stuff in these games. Oh, it's a warmed cat box! But where are all the cats? It's called a hibachi. It's for heating the room. Oh, look at all these ancient straw frisbees! Those are a type of Zabutan cushion called Inza! Why are you giving me such a hard time, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Why? Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, detective. He's not wrong. There's flowing script written everywhere on the walls. Man, I'd bet you'd have awful nightmares if you tried to sleep in here. This is our main hall, so it's protected by a variety of magic spells and charms. They're all designed to prevent evil forces from entering. So if I slept here, it'll be Oogie Woogie Boogie Man wouldn't hunt me down for eternity? All right! Does this guy think about anything other than eating and sleeping? Wait, she didn't lie to me. Do you know this? Huh. Ah! Well, well, well. Look what you found. That's the master of the curing channeling technique, Mystic Misty Fay. Fay. It's been nearly 20 years since Mystic Misty's disappearance. Apparently, she intended to pass on the master title to her daughter. Who is this daughter? Well, I myself am part of a branch family of the Fay clan. Really? And you mentioned nothing to Maya. But even I'm not privy to information concerning the main family. Well, 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 that's a demon warding hood. Acolytes are highly susceptible to possession by evil spirits, you know. That's why we always wear these for protection. Oh, I see. What are you waiting for? You won't get any protection just by holding it, you know. Put it on already. No, I can't. I was just... <laughs> it's like it was made just for you, Mr. Edgeworth. What do you mean by that, detective? It looks absolutely marvelous. You've just got to keep it on for a while. Is this some sort of divine retribution? Probably. Oh, how could such a terrible thing have happened? It's all, it's all, it's all my fault. Well, come on, lady. I don't think you need to take all the blame as a quiet. What do you know, anyway? Ouch! You're scary. With that stupid five o'clock shadow and that stupid old coat of yours. It's too bad that you weren't the one that disappeared. Harsh. Ouch. Why does she have to take it out all on me? Her anger does seem a little manufactured. Uh, what about this here? Hmm, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what truly is, we strive to break our attachments to much of the trans uh, transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immaterial girl. I guess she lives in the immaterial world, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? All right, that's kind of cute. Do you know anything about this old crumpled up letter? Is that addressed to Iris? Yep, it clearly says to Iris on it. I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any secrets from me. Ah, so Sister Bikini didn't know anything about it. Interesting. This man, his face betrays a life of suffering and great weariness of the world. Um, sure. But even so... I can't believe this guy actually jumped into the river! Think of all the fun things he might have enjoyed if he had just lived. Relentless spiritual training alone is no way to lead a complete life, huh? It sounds like she's got some major regrets she's dealing with. Hmm, perhaps I should let Gumshu explain right situation here for me. <laughs> hey! Don't look at me like that! Do your own dirty work, sir! This is Mystic Elise's apprentice, is it not? I think he might have had a bit of a crush on me. Sweet boy, at any rate. Huh? Oh, I don't blame him. Sister Bikini understands the temptations of young men. Sure. But I'm afraid it wouldn't be proper to abuse my position. I am head nun, after all. But in return, I did allow him to draw a portrait of me. I pray it was a pose that maintained your modesty for everyone's sake. Oh! Oh, just that again. Yeah, why did she just go off on poor, poor, poor gumshoe like that? You said you went to Maya with the training hall. Went to Maya with the training hall? You said you went with Maya to the training hall in the inner temple last night. Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the bell, ringing the ten o'clock bell for the lights out. So you're saying Iris came to the inner temple then? 
Of course she did. What? But she said that she didn't. Iris has always been a good, obedient girl. After that, I had Iris help Mystic Maya begin her training. But you said that she didn't. Right? But that didn't doesn't fit with Iris' story at all. In fact, didn't 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 you, Miss Nun Bikini? Didn't you say that you hadn't started the training yet? I'm confused. But what that doesn't fit with Iris' story at all. She said that she never went to the inner temple. As they say, the plot thickens. She's a very important visitor, you know. An honored acolyte. Honored? How so? The Fey name is synonymous with the curing channeling technique. Therefore, she must be a spirit medium of great power indeed. Now that you mention it, one year ago, there was a case that was about the master of the curing channeling technique. Detective... I detest talk of supernatural drivel. I suppose now you'll say he has midichlorians. <laughs> so it gives you the creeps, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? That's got nothing to do with it. Oh, this poor girl. Where could she have gone? Well, we checked out her home and she's not there. And she's nowhere in the vicinity of the temple either. Which means there's only a few other possibilities as to where she could be. Ah, do you think maybe she fell off the bridge and was carried downstream? Why do you have to be such a pessimist, detective? Uh, I was just trying to think like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ironic, I became a pessimist only after I had the pleasure of working with you. But everything is interesting. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of blood. But yeah, every <laughs> gumshoe is just getting bullied. Yep. Everyone bullies poor man. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, detective. I'll just have a look around. It looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd better ask uh, just to be sure. Are you really gonna defend that nun Iris at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word and I must follow through with my commitment. Well, in that case... I've got to be careful. Got to make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed and I think most of it will flow out on its own. You got it, sir! I'll make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Uh, yes, you do that, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? <laughs> the victim is the famous picture book author, Miss Elise Dunham. Her entire past up until she won that writing award last year is a total mystery. It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February the 7th. The cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab in the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. That's terrible. But there's no one strange thing. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. Huh. Where the fuck could she have fallen? Did... did she... Did she fall off the bridge? Because... I think they said it's 40... Like, I forget exactly. I don't know. Like, I don't know stories to yards to feet or something. But blah 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 blah. All right. So bruises consistent with falling from two stories. Yet she was found secured. Could it be that maybe she fell on? No, she wouldn't have been able to fall into the sword. There's no two stories around here. And plus, I'm fairly certain that if you fell two stories onto a sword, it would be more than just a stab. <laughs> I mean, gravity is natural. <laughs> so a part of me is wondering if Iris was trying to pull the sword out, but then wouldn't the, like, Babadiba, the psycho locks, pop up if she, when she said that she went back to her room? Hmm. A two-story building? That would be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Yeah, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. 
That just happens to be the room that Elise Dunham was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed with the sword? Elise's autopsy report added to the court record. Now then, detective, let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay! Well, let's take a look at the map. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, right after they finished dinner, she and Maya Fey headed to the inner temple. I like that they actually animated it. At 10 p.m., after ringing the bell for lights out, Iris went to the inner temple. You had to make her dot red. When she got there, Bikini had to take over while she went back to the Hazakura Temple. After taking a hot bath to soothe her back, Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. Could it be that... Because the statue's holding the, the sword. Could it be that... Did somebody possess the statue? That'd be amusing. But it has to do with, like, the, the demon possessing hood thing. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. The Vienna Temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Godot guy, but... Nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird! All of a sudden, no one can reach him! Hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of defense attorney. However, I'd be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why, but I'm not the one you have to worry about. I think the real problem is gonna be that judge. Yes, he certainly would remember my face even after such a long absence. That's why I requested that another judge preside over the trial tomorrow. We've only met one each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, I had no idea you had such powerful string to pull. Oh. Is it, did he bring in his, like, stepsister? Is Miss Whip going to come back? What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the Acolytes. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing? The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In the way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. I hear it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. Wrong button. What's this? It looks like a wizard's staff. That belongs to the victim, Miss Elise Dunham. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah! Listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes, what? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. All right, the truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? That's it! The staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What? What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Uh, just the victims. Huh. But the... Like, amethyst orb is missing. And there's a... Oh, we can't look at that? It's hard to tell of, like, the contrast a bit, but... There is stuff here. Oh, I just love skiing! Really? You don't, um, seem like the type. Well, what about sleds? Sleds? Nah. They're a little too kitty, you know? Messes with my hard-boiled image. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? I... Is the world starting to go mad? <laughs> the main gate must be over that stone wall. Ah, uh, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of paucity of words. 
So the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. It sure is. It's called a sheet sheet she she shito. I butchered that entirely, I bet. She she shito. By the way, nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood? Yep, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hilt of the Shichichito too. Fingerprints? Naturally they match. The prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon? What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Yeah, I think it doesn't uh, feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. <laughs> now you know what it feels like. You know the pain. It's lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight. Detective, can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? How did you know? Jesus Christ, leave him alone! He's but a poor boy! In the main hall of Hazakura Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right! Well, I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. Hazakura Temple was built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier just to build the place slanted, sir? I fail to see how he can consider that to be an even remotely good idea. He is but a fool. Very interesting. Oh, so I think I might have already told you about this, but, but <laughs> you wanted to become a wizard, right? Hey, that's amazing! How did you know that? So, what do you think? I'd make a really great one, don't you think? We just had this conversation a little while ago, Detective! Hmm. Uh, now that we've gathered things, I think we might need to start... ...breaking down the... ...like, uh... Oh, is he gone? Hmm. I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe he was scared the poor kid away! His heart was shut tight with a number of psycho locks. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side. Congrats, you know what it's like to be <laughs> poor Phoenix. And not here either. Did he come to visit Iris? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I, I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember, I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Yes, thank you. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Dunham with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when Maya Fey began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke of you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet Sister Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. So could it be that Maya's awakening of her spiritual power without, and then Iris without her demonhood got possessed? I'm not one to say my Spotify wrapped, but my number one song last year was Don't Ever Forget from P Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky, and played it 1,293 times starting in August 6th. I have no regrets. I can't wait to hear that song. Because basically, once I beat Explorers of Sky, I'm just going to listen to all of like the DS like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game soundtrack basically on loop, make my own playlist. And then I can't wait to get to Gates to Infinity. It's like, I want to experience all of the Mystery Dungeon. Ah, I love the Mystery Dungeon games. Like, I was, like, I was this, this tempted to just stream uh, Mystery Dungeon again. But uh, instead, I'm going to alternate my schedule. And instead of having Phoenix write on Mondays and Saturdays, it's just going to alternate. So one stream will be Phoenix, one will be Mystery Dungeon. Because I want to play more Mystery Dungeon. And we're almost done with this. Ish. I'm going to try and get to the court segment before quitting, but we're already two hours into this stream. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. 
But yes, and yet Sister Bikini says she met with you at the inner temple that very night. B but I... I didn't go there! I didn't go to the inner temple last night! Hmm, it looks like she's unwilling to tell me the whole truth. I wonder if I'll find the answers I'm looking for if I break those psycho locks. I... I don't like to walk alone at night. And last night was... What about last night? It's only two locks, and we should have everything. It's rather silly. So there was something special about last night, hmm. <laughs> it looks like I have no choice but to break these locks. Hmm, this music's pretty cool. Well, first things first, let's uh, gather information. Who is this woman on this hanging scroll? Well, I don't know the details, but... I've heard she's the master of the Curian channeling technique. But master? Yes, Mystic Misty. She was the great spirit medium, that's what I've heard. I also heard that she went missing over 15 years ago. Spirit mediums. There's no such thing anyway. Miss Regworth? I know all about them. They're nothing but frauds. She doesn't know anything about it, of course. But there was a time, 17 years ago, when I met the master myself. That's called a demon warding hood. I gave that to Mr. Wright last night. He was wearing this when I saw him at the hospital today. It's an important item for protecting acolytes from evil spirits. If it's so important, then why did you give it to him? Last night I felt... something. I felt that something terrible was about to happen. I... I didn't want Mr. Wright to fall into its grip. Well, he wound up falling into something much deeper and colder. I probably shouldn't say that out loud, though. Thank God for inner monologue. <laughs> That's Mystic Elise Dunham. She's a picture book author, so I've heard. Does she come to the Hazakura Temple often? No, this is her first time. It's just that... She was a very important visitor. Is that so? Yes, yeah, Sister Bikini told me, be certain not to offend her. The victim, Miss Elise Dunham. The prosecutor's office still doesn't have much information about her, it seems. I'm sorry, I don't leave the temple grounds very often, so I don't know much about the outside world, like weather. This letter, it appears to be addressed to you. I think it's someone's idea of a joke, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I threw it away. She's not giving me a straight answer for some reason. I'm going to have to find someone else who can give me more information about this. Just ask about everything. I is that the murder weapon? Yes, it is. Have you ever seen it before? Yes, Mr. Gami was holding it in the courtyard. And apparently the head nun witnessed the whole sad affair. Again. Hmm. It's hard to tell because that could be... It does seem to be... Like... Uh, ba ba ba. It does appear to be Iris's outfit, so... It can't be Pearl was the one that was possessed. Because, again, I am hooked on the idea that so, like an evil spirit possessed someone here. She saw you stabbing Miss Elise Dunham with this very sword last night. Well. Saving out paranoia. Present. Hiya! Oh, he said it! Take that! Since I've handed this, been handed this case, it is my duty to dig up all answers. Understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe a case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. I've lost basically every single case I was ever a part of because of it. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Yes, I swear, I already told you that. Yes, you said you didn't go because you were frightened. That's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder, is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? The blackmail? Take that! Take that! I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Uh, that's... Well, Iris... Why, 
Why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, isn't that correct? <laughs> was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke that lock? <laughs> You're a funny man, Edgeworth. Oh, well, I don't suppose it matters either way. But, Mr. Edgeworth... Yes? I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it to that would cause me any grief. Hmm, I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there is one person you didn't want your secret told to. Phoenix Wright. I like your funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> Indeed. Phoenix Wright. Uh, you mean something to write, as it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much. Especially from a friend of his. I like that. <laughs> Edgeworth is still like, I don't believe in spirit mediums, but I do believe in psycholocks. After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hole the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? It's more like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Hmm. Where is it on this map? It's around here. To get there, you have to follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the Inner Temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought of, of such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall. I, I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't even want to think about it. So this is the secret that you locked away in your heart. It doesn't seem like that big of a secret, really. Why are you so afraid of, like, telling it. So it's just like, what? Eh, I'm confused. Well, we'll learn more. Yes. It looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of our mysterious blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. All right, testimony. Rang lights out, bell at 10 p.m. and was then in her room until the murder was discovered. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you, I will win. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix can see each other again. But when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix is, right is, but he has no idea who I am. Everything continues to go wibbly-wobbly. What do you mean? And that wasn't a lie. No other things cropped up. So I'm just wondering, what you mean? What you mean? I wonder, what you mean? I'm just wondering, how could it be? How could it possibly be? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to ponder, but nothing's coming to me. She did... Because, again, there's no way that Delilah had a twin sister. Or we would have learned by now, right? Or, like, is it coincidental and Iris and Delilah look the same? And, like, at one point, F Phoenix, like, at one point, Iris was down s someplace where Phoenix and I uh, Delilah were having a date. Which was basically him going on a date and her trying to get the necklace back. And did Iris go like, oh, they look like they're having such a wonderful time. And she pretended to be Delilah to Phoenix time to time, maybe. And that's why they've met, but he doesn't know her. I don't know. I am very confuzzled and fused. There's a little shack down the way called Heavenly Hall. A shack? It's like a rundown doghouse for losers that can't bear the freezing drafts of wind. 
kind of reminds me of my apartment, sir. The name Heavenly Hall makes it sound like a palace. Giving a hovel a great name is a crime itself! I'd call it false advertising! By the way, the name of my apartment complex is Compton Castles. That's not such a great name, if you ask me. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. So <laughs> oh, for a moment, I thought it was continuing. Well, it's not such a great apartment either, sir. Well, let's move along. Heavenly her. What the fuck? Well, I guess to be fair, Larry's uh, portraiture isn't bad, actually, I suppose. Uh, interesting. Huh. Whoa! Not much of a view down here, huh? It's still better than the view from my apartment, though. Tch! <laughs> Someone's here! Hide yourself, detective! Oh, why, why, why? Why does this always happen? Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I even chased one of them to Japan. Next, it's going to be prison, I guess. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. Nah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. Ah, he's just talking to himself. Shush, be quiet and listen. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that? What did he do, I wonder? Hey, you! Well, about what you just said, I got an objection! <laughs> what the? Edgy, you dirty rat! Gumshoe. I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting objection. And in a loud, commanding voice, too, I even pointed with my pointer finger. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. That's all he basically does sometimes, is watch the trials. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh... What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. Yesterday. You did all this since yesterday. And why were you down here in the first place? Uh, come on, I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. This is a great little place. It's uh, artistic. It's quite, it's cold, it's uh, got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds a lot like my apartment there, pal. Poor guy. One thing is for sure, no one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So, can I get you something to drink? Uh, some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Listen to me, Edgy. You gotta do this. You gotta save Iris! Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute? Watch your mouth! Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. Um, Mr. Edgeworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm going to ask for him. Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, no, not yet, but I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. She's got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He'd never, ima he'd never imagine that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Something, excuse me? Something tells me the w that he would be shocked indeed. That's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. Hmm, if we really want to know the answer to that, I'm going to have to get him to drag him, drag him onto the witness stand. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you on the night, and what were you doing last night? Aw, oh, man, don't you have anything else to talk about? But what kind of attitude that you... I'm just not wording very good at all right now. With that kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies' man like me. Okay, okay, chill out with that those scary eyes. I got it. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Something incredible, and he's not going to tell us. Because he's a jerk liar man. Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? First things first, we gotta maybe throw a few things at his face. Nope. None of these. Maybe the blackmail. 
Like, he wouldn't have blackmailed Iris, would he? Huh. I don't know. That's the staff that Miss Elise was always carrying. Miss Elise, why? Huh? What is it, Larry? There's something missing from the staff. There's something missing. Hey, I know I may not look like it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, in that case, Zimzala, well, maybe Zimzala Bam. Take that! Smack you in the face with this Magatama. Shove it in your eye. All right, now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. Never seen anything like it. At around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I've been sleeping, I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, zing! The world in front of me went in front of me went white. Like I'd just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. And then? And then it was on fire. The bridge is on fire. The dusky bridge caught on fire? Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? Hey, what are you giving me the evil eye? I'm telling the truth. Hmm, there are still three psycho locks remaining. That means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw what happened? When you saw that happen? Where you say? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer me the question. I was in my own room, by the main hall. Where else could I have been? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. The problem, I suspect, lies there. Th 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 there? What do you mean, it's there? It's impossible for you to have seen the lightning strike of, from Dusky Bridge from your room. Uh, do I present the map? I think I do. This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. Well, what am I looking for? I think th that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it's obvious. You meringue. You fool. Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple, so then where were you? You don't know, and I thought that I wasn't in my room. So where was Larry, and why was he there? If I've read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well, then. Let's test my theory. The place you witnessed lightning striking Dusky Bridge was from here. Hmm. Could it have been Heavenly Hall? The place you saw the lightning strike from was naturally Heavenly Hall. Why would I be hanging out in this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it could fall apart at any minute. Larry, how do you how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Ah, oh! In other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. She is a fool. Why is Larry lying here? Yeah. I have to admit, I'm impressed, Edgy. You're in a totally different league from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me, what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. I have no idea how to say that. I'm but in... Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh, no. You really are one scary guy, you know? I believe that last night you were waiting for this person to come to you. No way that he actually sent it, did he? He said, did he send the blackmail? There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all over, Edgy. No doubt because of my chilly glare. So you think I got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? D do you have some kind of evidence? You got something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you are waiting for Iris. 
Could it be? Uh, salutations there. There's something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. So I guess it has to be him. Wow. I never knew that he'd be a blackmailer. Here's your evidence. You called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh, hey! G give that back! You're embarrassing me! What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I must judge you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frailty like that. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, oh! First of all, what's this at the top le of the letter? It says salutation here. Well, that's what it said in the book, letter writing for dummies. You're not supposed to actually write that. That's where you're supposed to write, dear Iris. Wah, I'm so sorry. You are but a fool, but a meringue, but a foolish fool. Why are you like this, Larry? Why? Are you just... You're a weird man, Eric. So, you were here in the Heavenly Hall last night, weren't you, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? Sorry, Edgy. Sorry doesn't cut it, you scumbag! Threatening a young lady like that! Aww. Wait, hold up. What no, pal? What are you talking about? What threatening stuff? I'll tell you what, you tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose her secret, pal! What do you mean, threaten? When did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. That sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact! Give me a break, it's a love letter. Haven't you ever been in love? What? what did you just say? My love for her burned so hotly it could melt all the snow on this mountain. Oh, then what is the secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. Obviously, she wouldn't want old lady bikini to know about it, right? About our hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. All right, then. Why did you send a love letter in a business like Vanilla Envelope? Give me a break. That's not my fault. I didn't have any other envelopes. Yeesh. Then why were you so quick to apologize, pal? It's because Edgy gave me that scary look of his. What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it. That's what those huge locks were about. I I don't understand why you were so defensive. Well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is, you shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. Hey, come on. Don't let it get you down. But Mr. Edgeworth, this guy's still hiding something. I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy said just a moment ago. If you really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry! But what? You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another! I, I already told you, didn't I? I saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. Uh, what doesn't? If that's all there is to your story, your heart wouldn't have had all those locks. Therefore, Larry, I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. But what? When? But where? Why? How? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you hide anything from Mr. Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. Uh... <laughs> more? And there's five of them. No! What's wrong? Uh, what's wrong, sir? D does this mean I have to do it all over again? Uh, why are you glaring at me like I'm next to be hit by a ball of lightning? I've just about had it with this Harlequin. If I really want to drag the truth out of him, I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. Oh, Larry, why are you being a lying liar, liar, liar? What the hell? What the f- I have no idea what to think. This feels like a big climactic, like, finale case for the game, but, like, what? I still don't know. I don't feel like I have, like, like okay, there's some stuff I can kind of work with, but all I have is the vague idea that, like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Do no 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 no. It's just like ha ha ha. 
there's just like so much there, so much in there. So I don't know. But that's, I think, where we're going to end it for now. What did we learn? Okay. Iris believes that she didn't go to the training. She thinks that she stayed in her room. Bikini says that she did come to the training. Huh. Could it also be that the lightning was made by the spiritual power? I don't think so. That feels a bit too fantasy for Ace Attorney. <laughs> a lot. A lot has happened. Because, like, I do like that we're playing as Edgeworth. That's just a cool twist to it. But yeah, there's just, like, so much. There's so much. I don't, I still don't even know who Iris is. I don't know. Uh, but... We don't know where Pearl is. We don't know who Elise is. We don't know who Iris is. I like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We learned a lot, but it feels like of the core things that I I want to know about, I haven't learned all that much. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, we're gonna end things here so we can start up next time doing the trial segment. And then we'll go from there. It'll depend how long the trial segment is. Then we might do more investigating, unless it just goes in straight into more <laughs> trialing. Hello. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you missed all the way to the end. We were going for almost three hours there. Uh, so when's the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stream? It should be Monday at 5 o'clock, Central Standard Time. So, day after tomorrow, because I just really want to get back into Mystery Dungeon. Originally, I was going to have it just be Wednesday, 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 but no, now I just want to go and play it. <laughs> but, yeah, this, this, this case, this case, it has set my brain on fire. I feel like I know nothing. <laughs> I don't even know who could have done it. Again, my leading theory, Iris somehow got possessed by the ghost of Delilah, Delia, whoever the fuck. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. I have no idea. <laughs> I do. Well, I don't. It's, uh, it's so confusing. And we still don't know where Pearl is. Maya's trapped on an island of a mountain. Pearl is missing. <laughs> Phoenix is in the hospital. Larry is being stupid. Uh, would you like a summary of what's happened? No, I don't think so, because I think I have it decently clear. Bikini says that she and Maya went down to the training place, then claims that Iris came down so that Bikini should could go have a uh, bath to ease up her back. When she came out, she saw Iris being stabbed, or Iris stabbing Elise, and then fainted, found by... Phoenix. We know that Pearl went to help clean up the dishes after dinner and was then going to go to Elise's room, but never showed up. And then Elise went looking for Pearl. Presumably she was pushed out of her like bedroom window, which technically was on a second story height-wise, but then was stabbed. <laughs> Bikini! Yep. Man, when the actual truth comes out, it's gonna be crazy. Well, make sure to be here. Like, I depends on what... Because the next Ace Attorney stream should be next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And as for when this whole stream will be uploaded, uh, I think my... My backlog of video stream uploads goes until the 16th, so who knows. Wouldn't the fall have killed Elise, though? Don't think so. Some, like, people have survived big falls. Uh, it's just that Edge, uh, not Edgeworth, Gumshoe said that there were bruises all over Elise's body, indicating a two-story fall. Again, maybe she 
like fell onto the sword somehow and Elise was trying to pull it out but then she would be lying about not it's not staying in her room and why would the sword then be placed back in the statue it's weird yeah <laughs> my initial theory was that the evil spirit possessed pearl because pearl didn't have a demon warding hood <laughs> but the flashback picture that we saw from Bikini's memories has a, uh, Iris's outfit on the Iris. So, who knows? ba ba ba, ba. I have no idea. I have no idea. Things are being weird. Larry's being weird. We don't know who Elise is, but apparently she was important, according to Bikini. And Bikini knew that Maya was a part of the... Uh, the was part of the Faye family, so... Maybe, like, Elise was important somehow? I have a question. Shoot your question while I ramble to myself. But I just have no idea. But she also wanted... But, like, uh, Iris also wanted Phoenix to have the demon warding hood so that he wouldn't be affected by the evils that would rise that night that she felt coming on. So I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Do not know. Like, because obviously someone had to have grabbed Pearl after dinner when she went to go wash the dishes. But I don't know who. Doesn't Iris look like someone else we know? Of course we do. That's the basis for it. But she doesn't have red hair. And while... It's weird. With how the psych... Well, as, as Edgeworth calls them, psycho locks... It seems that Iris can't be Delilah, or whatever her name, Delia? I don't know. It feels like she's had three names, but because so, she didn't lie when she said that Phoenix doesn't know who she is, but she knows who Phoenix is, which leads me to believe that maybe she looks like Delilah Hawthorne. Somehow, maybe they're not even related, or who knows? Maybe she is Delilah, I don't know. <laughs> psychotic locks. At this point, yeah, they're going to drive Edgeworth psychotic. But yeah, there's just so much. There's so much. There's so much. I like this case because it's just throwing my brain all, all over the place. <laughs> and again, we get to play as Edgeworth. Well, here's the thing. Can't hair be dyed? Yes, except for one thing. If she would dye her hair, why wouldn't she also change her hairstyle? And again, the the first time that we saw her was in the Occult magazine, which was a black and white photo to hide her hair color. So I don't know. And again, and again, she didn't lie when she said that she knows Phoenix, but Phoenix doesn't know her. And she's far too sweet to be Delilah. Far too sweet. Delilah was a monster. Just like a monster through and through. She can't be her. Like, sure, she said, oh, I've done so many sins, but no. No, she's far too heartless. Because psychopaths are very creatures, very much creatures of habit. Yeah, but even then again, even if she was like, oh, creature of habit to have the same hairstyle. She also very much changed her habit by going to a, by a, to a temple. Because the main things that make me think that she can't be Delilah is she was raised at the temple as a child with uh, Bikini being basically her surrogate mother. She didn't lie when she said that she didn't go to the university. Or maybe it could have been wording, but I don't know. I feel like it would be a little funky of them to wor like word things like that to not get the locks to show up. But And again, she said... She knows Phoenix, but Phoenix doesn't know her. And that's a part of the big secret in how she deceived him. Huh. Do you remember Pearl's mother? Very much so. I believe she's in prison. For a moment there, I thought she was Elise. Because they kind of looked similar from my vague memory. But no. No, it can't be. Maybe she's involved somehow, but... Eh. Because a lot of weird things are here, like... Apparently, Maya's mother was, like, associated with this place. 
The inner temple looks bedraggled, crumbling, and weird. Bikini is weird. Like, again, everything. She is involved, but she's not Elise. That's what I figured by now. <laughs> It'd be kind of weird for her to be like, ah. Because, like, if she had lived, if Elise had lived, and somebody else was the victim, I would maybe be back on that train of her be of uh, Pearl's mother being Elise, but... Considering that this is also kind of revolving around Misty Fay, yeah, I can feel how Pearl's mother might get involved. But ba 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 lots of weirdness. Lots of weirdness. But yeah, I think that will be it for now. We... Went for about three hours through the first investigation part leading into the trial. Uh, we got a lot of evidence and a lot of about, like, what happened, but we don't know the specifics of the whys, whos, and what's is. Bleh. It's very weird, very odd. <laughs> again, I do, again, I love that we're playing as Edgeworth, though. It's greatly amusing. I can't wait to see who the prosecutor's gonna be. I can only imagine that Godot is gonna show up later on. Because he's a weirdo. So who knows. One thing to note is, where's our favorite coffee addict? Yeah, that's just it. Because Gumshoe said that nobody can get a hold of him, that he was slated to do this case. But figures that maybe because Phoenix isn't going to be doing it, he feels that it's not worth it. But who knows. Maybe he'll pop up anyway. I could see him popping up, considering that Godot was there for, like... The pre like the first trials for both Edgeworth and Mia. It's possible that once he catches wind that the defense attorney is going to be Edgeworth, he might take over midway through, but who knows. It depends on who's the prosecutor that Edgeworth is pulling for and what Godot's deal is. Also, because you're investigating, don't forget to flash your defense attorney's badge. <laughs> I need to do that. I didn't do that, I don't think. I think I tried it once, maybe. No, I did it once as Phoenix and not... Yeah. Oh, well. There should be more investigation parts. It'd be very weird if there wasn't. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, I hope to see you tune in next time on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we will be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky, Expanded Sky, ROM Hack Mod Playthrough. It's, it doesn't really change all that much, it just gives more Pokemon starters. <laughs> but, yes. Once again, Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, unless something happens. Blah. If you want other things from me, I also have an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I swear I am making content, I am trying to make content for. I am scripting a video... It is coming out to be very long. It is going to have to be edited. Maybe I'll have to cut it up into multiple parts. Who knows? But a script is being written for that main YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. If you like streaming, I stream to Twitch and YouTube at twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings and the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games. And if you want to... I got mixed up on my way out. My brain is mushing down. I recommend going back on a different save and seeing it. We might, We might do that. Maybe, maybe. Perhaps. But back to my diddly -dee. My brain is turning to mush. But yeah. Uh, in all the link places of the various sites, descriptions, bios, and link places, I have my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icewings that has links to everywhere. My YouTubes, my Twitches, all the places that I post art to, like my little character in the corner. I think I posted art yesterday that came out really good. I drew my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky team. It came out really nice. Haha. <laughs> And uh, if you want to read some stories I've doth written, links to those as well. And then, if you are feeling kind, you can throw some dollary dues my way through my Patreon. Just like as a little drop in the bucket to help me survive a little bit longer. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye, stay safe, stay dry, stay true to yourselves. And then may you have a good day, evening, night, or wherever you are. Bye-bye.